much care. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So today I decided to film this 100% drugstore foundation routine. Well, I sprayed my face with Fix Plus and I like use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to like dust away the powder. Other than that, all drugstore. Um, and I'll be showing you guys testing out the... Well, I'm not testing it out because I've done it before, the powder before foundation, and I kind of will just be explaining that a little bit, why I do that and what it does. I've talked about it before if you watch my video, 10 tips to make your makeup last all day, so that's basically why I do it. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. Ugh, excuse me. Thank you guys for your continuous support, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So first I'm using the uh, e.l.f. Poreless Primer and I really like this one because it minimizes your pores, makes your pores look smaller. But um, for this you only you have to use a little bit or else if you use too much it will make the foundation not adhere to it. So if you use it just don't use a lot. And then um, I'm going to powder my face using the Cody Airspun. And like I talked about this before, I really do like this powder. I just don't like the way it smells. Only other thing that I don't like is that it changes the color of your foundation. So it makes me look lighter and I don't really like that. But this is good for if you have oily skin. It's just going to make, it's like adds an extra protectant layer to make the foundation last all day. It kind of like locks those oils in to just further coat that primer if you use if you're using an oil control primer it's like further priming your skin pretty much and then i'm going to mix my l'oreal pro glow infallible foundation in 211 and 212 and i like to just put it all over my face and then i stipple it in with my um real techniques brush and i really like this brush because it's dense and um it's like not too big but it still covers a large surface area and um, this is what takes the longest part, I feel, with doing makeup. It's just making sure everything is blended out evenly. You want to make sure you bring it to your ears, bring it down to your neck. You just want it to be all seamless. And so I will be cream contouring just because the contour powder that I use is not that deep. So I'm going to get that, like, that, um, that contoured look from the cream contour because this is, like, as dark as I need it to be. And I do like to contour around, like, my jawline and my chin in my temples just to even that um will like you know make it appear smaller and i will be contouring my nose as well i did not contour my forehead normally i do but i didn't just because i don't want it to get into my hair like it just gets too messy when you got baby hair or wig and all that stuff like i'm not trying to mix all that so you know we just gonna skip that part but i will be highlighting i'm using fawn from la girl pro concealer um Fawn is like a really yellow base and I really like it because it's like my and I feel like I have like a, a neutral undertone because I can kind of go either direction but yeah I will be highlighting in all the areas that I normally highlight and um I'm gonna be blending that out and I use fix plus because I lost the top to my elf mac uh, makeup and set spray I have no idea what happened to it um but when I blend out my contour I'm gonna keep it in the area of where it's at I'm kind of just gonna like buff it out very gently well this doesn't look gentle at all but i'm keeping it i'm blending it up don't blend it down blend it up and just keep it where it's at don't try to really move it keep you don't want to move the product you want to keep it where it's at you just want to blend it out that's it and so um i'm going to blend out my my concealer um and i'm going to just make sure that like again i'm not moving it i'm just blending it out in the area of where it's already at like i've already placed it so now i just want to blend it because if you start to move it too much it can start to look blotchy and it can just yeah it just won't look clean so just blend it don't move it and i will be um highlighting underneath my contour just to give me that more chiseled look like it's just going to really make my cheeks look contoured i feel and I, I have to make sure I blend out this part really good because if you don't, you'll have like a white cast, like a very light cast under there. And that's not cute either because it's like you don't want it to look like you have like three different colors on your face. You want it to all be seamless. And um, I like my highlight to be really bright under my eyes. So I will go on top of that with creamy beige um, just under my eyes and on like the top half of my face. And I will be blending that out. Um, my, use this 
use this do whatever works for you you don't have to follow these exact steps this is just this is just a, um, a guideline you know this is the way I do it and I just want to show you guys the way that I do it so you can take whatever you need to take from it so yeah do what works for you but like I said I do like my highlight under my eye to be really bright when I'm doing like a full glam look everyday look no but full glam yes I do like that really bright look underneath my eyes So once I've got the concealer all blended out, as you can see, it's like a harshness from the highlight to the contour. And like I said, you don't want your face to look like three different colors. You want it to all kind of just mesh in. So I will go back on top of all that with my foundation brush to just buff out any harshness and blend out those lines because that foundation brush still has like some of my foundation on it. It'll just like mesh those two colors together, you know, and like I just go over all the areas and like I even take the brush that I use for my to blend out my contour and like, you know, I deepen that back up I will go back underneath the contour with the beauty blender so I just rotate with all the tools that I use my foundation brush my beauty blender and the brush that I use to the contour just to make sure everything is blended out perfectly and so now I'm going to be setting the concealer and I'm using the Cody airspun powder and I'm going to be pressing it into my skin and all the areas that I uh, concealed but before you blend it out you want to make sure that there's no creasing so blend out any creasing before you apply any powder because that powder is going to lock it in so if you lock in creasing you're just going to be creased still but I'm going to press that into my skin and I don't necessarily need to bake just because like my skin's not oily and once because I powdered before my foundation like my skin is good like it's is not going nowhere so this is the uh, contour powder that I'm using I'm it's, I believe it's the Maybelline fit me and mocha and I'm going to I like to like stipple the contour into where it's at where it needs to be and um, like just stipple it right on top of that cream contour that I've already placed and I feel like that just kind of sets the contour and it doesn't I don't want to move that that cream product at all but I will be um, uh, setting like my my ch wow what am I talking about what am I trying to say you know that part yeah I'm gonna just set all the places that I contoured and then I'm gonna carve out that contour with that same beauty blender and this is just gonna give my contour a very clean look because sometimes you know the brush is too big it can get out of like line and it's like I don't like my contour to be past like below my ear like the middle part of my ear I like to keep it up there just so I can keep my cheekbones looking high because like that's the point of the contour you know it's like I'm trying to make it just give my cheekbones structure so it's like I don't want it to look sloppy um but I I I'm gonna dust away this powder with this uh, I got this from TJ Maxx and it was like three dollars but when I was dusting it away like I had used the darkest one it just wasn't I don't know it wasn't doing what what that mineralized skin finish does for me and so I do have to find another product and I really do apologize that I'm using the mineralized skin finish because I wanted to stay true to my word and just use a hundred percent drugstore but like I literally tried like I was sitting here blending it all out and it was cool you know but I'm like you know for me to bring back that warmth to my face because like I said that Cody Airspun it makes me I feel like it makes me look white like it doesn't have a flashback it just makes me look low-key ghosty like it's cool I could work with it but um for me to bring back that color to my face like I did have to go back and redefine my contour and um use that MAC mineralized skin finish because like I was literally sitting here trying like okay and I finally I pulled out like okay all right I gotta use it you know so yeah I really did try but um I just probably have to find a, a better drugstore powder that I can use to like dust away so if anybody has any recommendations please let me know um because I would like to try something out and I got this highlight from wet and wild it was nice it just was very subtle you know I feel like it could have been like a little more popping but whatever it was still cool um yeah but yeah I'm just gonna highlight in all the areas and um then I'm gonna apply my fix plus because like I said I could not find it oh wait I'm ahead of myself I'm gonna apply blush first I'm pretty sure but I love this Real Techniques blush brush like it picks up the product well enough 
and it just it gives like I don't know it gives you like that nice blush look and I'm using a blush from Maybelline I like it because I like blushes that are not too pink not too red I, li I like plum color blushes like in that family and it was really pretty uh the pigmentation was cool just because like I don't like it to be too harsh but I like you I like it to be like a subtle pink in between you know but I did go back and redefine that contour it's like that's kind of what I do I like I scan my face and as I'm working and like you know applying the makeup I just go back and if I need to reapply something if I need to blend something out I'm just constantly looking at my face making sure everything looks the way I need it to look you know so it's okay if at first when you do something it doesn't turn out how you do it it's okay like you know if you need to go back and deepen up your contour or take away some highlighter add some more blush you can do that just utilize all of your products all of your brushes everything like utilize it to your benefit so that your makeup looks how you want it to look you know like i've just learned that all of these things are really tools like all the makeup you know and you can literally use it to your advantage to look how you want it to look but um I'm just applying my lips. I use like three different nude lipsticks all from NYX, but I will be sure to list all the products down below of everything that I use. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Let me know what else you guys would like to see, and I'll see you guys in my next video.